Right. Hello and welcome back to Fiori Farms, episode two of Beyond Home. And we'll basically pick up where we left off on the last one, which is we did rent off on a couple of tractors. Uh, rented a couple of things actually. This trailer, the dollar, the tractor, um, are actually mine, but this tractor I'm in now, the loader, is one that I rented. I think you can see how, yeah, you can. You can see that I rented it. In the top left corner, it says extend rent time. We're not going to do that because we've got it for a full day. We have real time on. We don't go up off real time. Don't speed it up in any way possible. Right, so, like I said on the last episode, what I was going to do is not do that. Is basically I'm going to try and pull this out of where it is. So if I can just. Not tip all the tractor. Right, not sure. I've got my tractor stuck now. Yeah. Right, yeah. See if I'm going at a different angle. I can just drag it out, basically. It's literally, all I want to do is just drag it. It's not going to work. So, what we're going to do is for a start, I press the wrong button, turn the tractor off there. We need to move this. Have a look. Pull this down. Oops. Start the tractor up. We need to position it. Probably about here. I'll leave the steering wheel out for now. to chop some of this tree away. Hmm. Didn't work out too bad. Just basically chop it into bits. Or chopping the, the uh, arms off really. Uh, might be a good idea in doing this differently than I usually do. It might take a little bit longer doing it this way, but at least it's getting it done. And then we're not going to have everything in the way. Um, we can just. What are them doing on that? I think they're done. Right, so yep, there we go. Right, here we are. And that's one. What I need to do is really let me just check on Put the harvester away. That's the, yeah. the cultivator isn't done. So we're going to start this up. Get that cultivating the rest of this field. What field this is? 38. Yeah, I must have saved it and then just exited out of the server before they were done fully. <coughs> so, what we'll do get this farm finished off with the canola 
still go. Wow. It's not finished, so... Let's... Let's just see. On mods. On placeables. We have sheds, which gives us more space. Placeable sheds. Uh, fertilizer tank. Ah, this. Seeds. This is what I was wanting. If we can put some of this up on farm 38, if I can find it. I think it's here. Yep, there we go. So, we put that there. That's seeds. Because they only cost 850. So that's not bad. That means that I can drive this thing. That's one of the mods that I'm using is placeable stuff. Like placeable seeds, placeable fertilizer tank, floodlights. Um, because when it's dark, I don't know about other people, but when it comes dark time and it's like farming with just them lights, to me it doesn't quite give you the the view you need. It didn't give you the light you need. So I went and looked on the website on which will be linked in the description below it's so all the mods where I get all my mods from will be linked in this description below and it is the farming simulator website um, oh yeah I went and had a look and I found quite a few good little mods on there so I thought why not go get them cool. having this here works quite well as well, as well. We fill it full of canola by the time that is done. Let's have a look. We set this up to go on work, and then we can get back to doing what we were doing before, which was getting rid of them trees so we can put them other things down. So, yeah, that's doing that. It won't be long from being done, so yeah. Now, we've got that going. We've got the placeable seeds. And get back to cutting some trees down. The one thing I don't think I rented was a stump remover. But I think we'll do that when I majorly need it. This ain't gonna go well. Stop rocking. I can just nudge it out of the way. Yep, there we go. Clamp. Ah, we're good. It's them little ones that are gonna do my head in. I don't think I'll chop the little ones off. No, oh, that stump just stopped me. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I do apologise for the bad driving. I don't really do forestry that much. I should do, but I don't. Well, I'll leave that going for now. Okay, another couple of these gone. Forestry is good for money. Uh, if you're first starting out, um, like I say, with the add-ons I've got, they work quite well, especially the machinery rental. Um, I say add-ons, mods, whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, the machinery rental helps quite a lot when you're first starting out. It basically gives you the ability to rent more machines that you instead of paying out of this world type of prices like 250 grand for one tractor. That's quite a big amount of money just for a tractor so we're doing forestry it's a grand for a chainsaw costs not that much for the tractor oh, if you've already got the tractor it doesn't cost much for the dolly in the trailer so if you can 
sell a tractor basically you'll have enough money for the dolly the trailer plus you can rent certain ones if you have the machinery rental which I find is a really helpful mod there's quite a few mods that I've got that are really really helpful No, wrong way. There we go. Right, Ooh, that went a bit wrong. Right, let's see. There we go. Did we hook it? No, we missed it. One of the main reasons how you know I'm not very good at forestry is my forestry skills as you can see they're not great they're not brilliant but they're not bad as long as the wood goes on the trailer I think we'll be fine well what we're basically going to be doing is hopefully get all this done in this episode and then if there's time then I will dump it and try to be cocky here might work get three at a time speed up a little bit yeah we managed it there we go speed it up a little bit just there we go that way like that clamps that now we put it here crouch down a bit cut this one off Hey. Why is it moving? Why is the truck mo tractor moving? If I turn it off, maybe it'll stay still. Another good mod to have manual ignition. Like if you're doing forestry and your tractor looks like it's about to tipple, turn it off. Hopefully, we can make it to the trailer. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to tipple. See if I can do this uh, slow way of using the trailer as a leaner. I think that works quite well. Okay, big thick log. It's got some weight to it, but the weight at the back, yeah, I did like push the weight downwards. So I'm thinking the weight must or could have helped, but I don't think it is. Right, let's Get this one. Oh yeah, there we go. It's not really taking me that long to do one tree. So I might be able, what I might do, no in fact what I am going to do is once I've done this tree, I'm going to drive up all the way to the logging camp and dump it. Just to see how much money I'm going to get from one tree. It's just whoa, whoa, whoa. nudge it forward and lock. 
Right. Right, this tree is gonna be oh this is gonna be a bit difficult. I'm not sure if we can do it this way, but I'm gonna we'll give it a try. If I can to the ground like that turn it off that way it's done well and then start the engine up we want to be going good thing about the massy as well is you can have a mouse so I can direct from where I'm going but I'm going from here and I'm going all the way up to here which is the lumber yard so, where are we going? The Massey has got a nice amount of horsepower and it is quite fast. It is quite loud though. I'm not sure whether you're going to hear that over me. Hopefully you won't. I'll turn it down a little bit, just in case. Though I hear the game sounds over me. Uh, well, it'll be a bit equal when well, you hear the game sound, but you can hear me as well. Oops, shouldn't have gone up there, but I did. I'm still trying to figure out what button I press to put my beacon on. I mean, I've been playing around with them. I've sexed my lights. Then you've got me indicator left, indicator right, number one and three. Hazards, number two. Oh, the mass is not faster than a bloody car, is it? Oh, we won't stab a car with a twig, we'll find. Let's see where we are already. It's not that far, really. I'm going to put detour down this way. I might cut out some traffic if it do. Is the thing with this Massey Ferguson as well, this is a really big tractor. As you can see, that's how you know it's a good pull, pull tractor because of the size of it. And the sound of the engine, you can hear the actual sound of the engine. Right, it won't take long, come on, get out of the way. Thank you. Right now, I need to look for the pool. I'm not going to dump it on the train, that's where it is, on the left hand side. I don't dump it in the train, I have dump it in the pool. So for, let's see this what this question mark says. If you want to sell wood, you can simply drop it into the mill pond, straight and long pieces get you more money than short and bent ones. So not anywhere does it say that you can't put more or a big tree in there. Let's see, we're not backing up, but the dolly is never a good. Just having the dolly attached is a bit of a pain. Because when you try to back up straight, you can never get it to go straight. Figure a different way of getting into this pond. 
backing up with a dolly is not very easy at all. Because even if you back up straight, it doesn't back straight. It still turns. It's like it's much. slowly take it still does the same thing oh 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 we're getting somewhere oh ten thousand whoa whoa nice that whole tree got me like just under thirty thousand that's not bad not bad at all Uh, that's like just under 30,000 for one tree. Oop, I'm going the way again. Then I've got another three trees to do. Which it is like a little process. I'm going the inside view. Um, I have got three trees. Or three more trees to cut down, load on the trailer and come dump. Uh, back in this place, but if I'm getting just under 30,000. I think I had 6,000, so it's like 28,000 that I got from that one tree. I'm not sure whether I have to cut a couple more branches off to get more money. I'm not sure about that. Um, I know the thicker the tree, the more money you get, as it says. Oh. That could put me in some good money. So what we'll do is, it will be for the like next couple of episodes. It'll be more getting rid of these three trees. Then we're going to be looking at, um, obviously, during the episode of getting rid of these trees. I'm still going to be doing cultivating and going to be doing seeding or sowing. So it's still going to be more to do and there's still going to be a lot of mixed into the episode but it is going to be mainly chopping down the trees loading them on and hopefully hauling them down but what I think I might do is I might load two trees into the trailer before I go haul them and get money because having 34,000 is actually a good little marker um, definitely be able to get the stump removal but actually selling these trees might be able to get me with three. If I can get some 75,000, it'll get me with three greenhouses. Which is what I'm going to be lining up where these four trees were. Then we have to look at seeding the greenhouse, which is going to cost money. Then we have to look at getting a water tank, which is also going to cost money. But yeah, for now, I'm going to miss off probably use that on the next episode so that is really good for the amount of money we just got for that one tree it's going to be really good because we are going to chop another tree down saw it into little pieces load the trailer then we're going to do it with another tree load the trailer and take two trees and see how much money we come away with but that's it for this episode thank you for watching do drop it a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you on the next one.